Hey everybody, how's it going? My name is Liam and this is my hobby room and today we're going to be taking a look at a really cool model kit with a fun resin twist. That's right, today we're taking a look at the 1 to 144 scale Gundam Lafrith from Mobile Suit Gundam The Witch from Mercury. This kit is an absolute beauty. The box art is gorgeous, the whole graphic design of all of the promotional material so far is mwah, mamma mia. Is it delicioso? This was a fantastic kit to build, really loved how it all went together, the whole line so far has been great. I got this kit from bchobbies.com, you can check them out down in the description below for all of your gunpla and plastic modeling needs. But right off the bat, the Gundam Lafrith out of the box is a fantastic model kit. I'll show you some turnarounds here. The proportions are really well thought out. There's lots of sleek lines and cool detail without being too over the top. Uh, it comes with some really interesting accessories and all of the funnel type weapons, which I think are called bit stabs, can attach to the backpack when not in shield mode. It's always nice to have the accessory storage somewhere. Even the rifle just kind of locks into the backpack when not in use. One thing I've noticed is though that the arm has a hard time holding the rifle up when the accessories are plugged into it, uh, but with paint that shouldn't be an issue, it'll, it'll stiffen up the joint. The beam saber hilts are really long and thin, which looks cool, but they do tend to slip through the hands, and the only hands the kit comes with are the generic holding hands. I really wish more kits would come with a closed left fist, but that's just me nitpicking. <laughs> The assembly was also a proverbial breath of fresh air, especially if you've built a lot of Gundam-type mobile suits before. You can tell where they took a lot of design cues from the Iron-Blooded Orphans line, so if that's your thing, you'll really enjoy these, though I can't say for sure whether or not the other suits in this line will be your cup of tea, as the different factions' mobile suits were designed by different artists. But that's also where so much of my love for these new designs comes from. Uh, the variety is just really cool. So the Lafrith has enough accessories and shelf presence to be an entertaining project to work on and a beautiful display kit, even just out of the box. However, however, I always have much more fun working on a kit if there's a resin conversion kit or something nitty gritty for me to get into. So that's what we're going to be focusing on in this video. I watched the entire Witch from Mercury series with my wife, Mrs. Hobby Room, and we loved it. It was fun, the characters were unique and interesting, but nearly the whole time I was just enamored with this mobile suit I saw way back in the prologue. And that is the pre-production Gundam Lafrith, which is that Lafrith without the horns, and it's like dark blue and green instead of pink and white. So that is the one that I'm going to be turning this kit into. And to help me do that, I was lucky enough to stumble across Hanko Workshop's page on Etsy, where they made a resin conversion kit for the HG Gundam of Breath that turns it into the pre-production model. Now it's really, really cool looking. It's got the wing binders, it's got, it's got, the, oh, it's got the beam rifle. That's pretty fun. Uh, and it came with a bunch of hands, so we're gonna start cutting out those pieces and sanding them down and then we'll take a look at the kit all together. Working with resin parts can be a little bit frustrating sometimes, especially when you have big pieces that are completely bent. I did touch on this a little while ago when I was doing a conversion kit for my uh, HG Crossbone Gundam where I turned it into the X2, uh, which is a really nice little kit. It's in here somewhere in this display case. Anyways, you can take your resin pieces and soak them in hot water uh, and then just gently bend them back into shape. And once they're back into shape, hold them, submerge them in cold water, and just leave them there for a little bit. That's what I'm doing with some of the door pieces on the on these wing binders. They're a little bit bent, uh, and they won't go. They won't, you know, they won't. They won't like close up properly until I do that. So I've actually done it once already, and I didn't leave them in to set long enough. So unfortunately, they just bent back into shape. So uh, we're gonna give it another go, and we're gonna see what happens. So the pieces look really, really good. Uh, there's a few things that I that I want to change. Uh, this rifle is a little bit bent here and there, so we might be bending it back into shape. But overall, I'm really happy with how these pieces turned out, and I cannot wait to start assembling it. Everything fits pretty well. Seems to be sanded a bit. I'm excited. All right, so. Here is the Gundam Lafrith all put together, sort of, <laughs> sort of put together, I should say. Uh, I put the beam rifle on here. I actually had to replace the handle of the beam rifle uh, to, uh, I just cut off the, the handle of a gun I wasn't using and popped it right in here. It seems to fit fine. Uh, I just used a pin to connect the two pieces. Um, so I'm going to keep this hand and I'm probably just going to use this one closed fist for the left hand here. 
Um, there's not actually that much of a weight distribution problem as well, despite all the resin being on there, it stands pretty well, so that's pretty nice. Uh, obviously these are very loose at the moment, I haven't glued them in, uh, which I am going to be doing, so, uh, okay, that's fine, I was going to take this off anyways, so here you go. This is the backpack, um, the binders are pretty sweet, they are quite heavy, obviously, uh, and also they're fixed in this kind of um, inward position, which is a little odd. Uh, I might see if I can flex them out a bit, just bend the resin a bit and keep them um, keep them more evenly spaced. I think that would look better. Um, now the the binders themselves, lots obviously you can see lots of seam lines here that are closed. This is a mixture of polyester putty, um, regular plastic putty, and uh, cyanoacrylate super glue. And that's this rubberized CA glue from AK Interactive. It's called Black Widow. Uh, there's a few uh, similar looking ones. They're black. They're goopy. Uh, they work really well. If if you use an accelerator. Do not use one without an accelerator. It doesn't work the same way. It still does work. It will glue, <laughs> but it won't glue very well. It doesn't really matter which one you get so long as you're using a cyanoacrylate glue and a cyanoacrylate uh, accelerator. I use them together and I've never had any problems. It cures them almost instantly. The backpack itself, very simple, looks just like it does in the anime. That's awesome. The conversion kit also came with these little thrusters that you can put in here. They look really good. They have a lot of detail. Obviously, those are going to have to be glued in or uh, pinned and glued in place. So uh, we'll get there when we get there. Now, I've actually pre-mixed quite a bit of paint, and I do that with my little magnetic paint mixer. I got this from uh, Dis Dispy, Dispay, Dis I can never pronounce the name. I actually did a review of this product on the Gunpla Network, so you can check that out. I'll link that down in the description below as well. Uh, and then basically all you do is put your paint in there, chuck a little magnet, uh, magnet rod in there, and then it just magnetically mixes all your paint in a little vortex. It's pretty sweet. It's pretty cool. It's really fun to watch. And now that I'm ready to paint it, I am excited to show you what that looks like. So I'm going to go over there and paint, and then I'll bring it back and show you. Just hang on right there. So unfortunately when I was painting, I accidentally snapped one of these doors right in half and didn't have the time to go back and fill it in, fix it and make it look nice and flush. I also had quite a lot of difficulty trying to get these doors to fit into the uh, into these little slots that you can't see because unfortunately they're inside, uh, which would allow them to sort of open and close. So I just glued them shut, which is kind of a bummer. I wanted to show off the little uh, little bits inside there, but oh well, it's not the end of the world. I think at a glance it still looks pretty good. And the beam rifle, well the beam rifle looks awesome. You ready to see the finished build?
Thank you so, so much for watching, everybody. I am Liam, this has been my hobby room. I hope you learned something or found it entertaining or, or whatever. If any of those apply, please like this video and subscribe to this channel for tons more awesome Gunpla content. I got a lot of videos on here and I think they're pretty fun. So stay tuned because next time we have another really, really cool project that I'm bringing to you and I can't wait to show it off. I think it's gonna be pretty exciting, especially if you like Gundam Wayne. So give your mums a hug, everybody. Take care of one another and I'll see you guys next time on Liam's Hobby Room. And today we're taking a look at the 1 to 140 Whoops. <laughs> and today we're taking a look at the 1 to 144 scale